Hi, I'm excited to kick off this section of the course on tube introducers and to get things started we're going to answer the biggest question that hangs out there particularly for anyone who's starting emergency airway skills and picks up a bougie for the first time and that is why the hell do I need this thing anyways? I mean it's flopping around half the time it's hitting me in the head the other half of the time it's on the floor when I really need it what is this piece of plastic all about? Well to answer that question, we really need to go back to this and talk a little bit more about its design. So you may think that this design is primarily for placement, that this is designed for easy tube delivery, but it's actually not. That's because its primary function is gas exchange. Because if this thing is not delivering life-saving oxygen to your patient, it's worthless. And so, because of that, it's had to make some compromises in key areas. And let's go through those a little bit. Now, as you can see, it's got a rather large lumen, and that's for gas exchange. And as we approach, say, the glottic opening, this is gonna start to obstruct your line of sight and your view. And you can see it on this camera, it can actually really have a huge effect. In addition, it's got a cuff. Now that cuff is important because it needs to be inflated to uh, make gas exchange secure and efficient uh, and avoid aspiration. But this is actually increasing the diameter and making it more difficult to pass through the cords and into the trachea. Let's also look at the body of the tube. Now it's clear translucent material and that's by design because you want to be able to see condensation here in the tube. That's going to tell you whether or not there is gas exchange happening. Uh, and if there's fluid in here, you want to know that too, so you can suction it out. But that translucent material is not so great when you're trying to visualize the device headed towards the glottic opening. Because the translucent material doesn't give a clear demarcation of the tissue around it. In fact, this can actually sort of dissolve or disappear in the oropharynx because the tissue around it can kind of blur and merge into it and it can make it harder for you to understand and orient yourself in the space and it can really diminish your ability to deliver this thing. On top of that, it's flexible but it's not really designed for fine manipulations to place because if it was much more flexible and easily manipulable it might collapse, it might kink or obstruct and that would inhibit gas exchange and of course that would be a safety issue so we we can't have that. So for all of these reasons this device has made significant compromises when it comes to delivery so that it can do what it's primarily meant to do and that's deliver life-saving oxygen. Now that's in stark contrast to this guy. This guy has no compromises because its only goal is to be able to pass through the cords and into the trachea. And let's look at some of the features that will help you do that. First of all, it's got a very narrow diameter. It has no lumen at all because it doesn't need one. And you can see as the, it approaches the camera, it's actually not really filling up most of the view and I can still see around it. It's got a coup de tip and that's gonna help you pass under an epiglottis and into the trachea. Um, it's quite flexible and that actually allows for some fine more fine motor skill manipulation of the tip to get to the direction that you want it to go and the angle that you want it to go. Um, it also means that it's less likely to get hung up and just with a little twist to one side or the other means that it'll pass down the trachea quite easily. And then it's also quite malleable. So the little bend, I can actually increase the curve, which can also help it travel around the structures that I needed to avoid. And then finally, it's not translucent at all. It's actually a bright blue color. And this, as you can see, is really easily demarcated so that when you're traveling towards the glottic opening, that tip is clearly visualized and it's not blurred in with the other tissue. And that's also going to help you with tube delivery. So in the world of emergency airway care, I really like to think of the bougie or tube introducer and the tube as chocolate and peanut butter. Two great devices that work great together. And we're going to prove it on the other side of this video in this section on tube introducers.